I'm very happy and privileged to be continuing my journey with Midna. I thank everyone for joining in this session with me. I have also invited some of my clients and friends, those who are willing to take uh, GBP. And uh, uh, in this session, I'll be skimming through my 1.0. I will be just discussing on my design. And then uh, I will be discussing about uh, how I developed uh, on my self-discovery and how I have developed on my own self. And then I'll be discussing on the counseling sessions, which Sir, uh, am I visible, sir? Yeah, please go. Yes. So I'll be also discussing about the counseling sessions, uh, which I have gone through. Uh, uh, sir, uh, because of my bandwidth problem, I don't think so. My uh, video and audio can go at the same time. Can I switch off the video or uh, let it be, sir? No, let it be. If there is a difficulty, we'll... Okay, sir. fine, sir. Thank you, sir. So... Um, I would like to start my session saying to the mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. So getting a still mind, a mind that uh, uh, requires peace, a mind that loves peaceful living is what is tough. So when it is trained and molded in the right way, we will be blessed to lead the harmonious and peaceful living in this world. So when you when you are still, you will you can analyze what is happening inside you and also what is happening around you. So that is the position which helps us to realize ourselves very well. So I would like to start the session saying this quote and uh, So this is my design. Uh, as you can see, I'm a 100% emulator, being 90% effective and 10% reflective. Uh, being an effective uh, learner, I will be going with the flow like a water. And uh, I like to do what others want, but I will do it in uh, my own way. And I can handle different situations. I will be able to adapt well if explained. And I'm a person who likes to avoid conflicts. I do expect a lot of appreciations. I'm a very gentle and uh, observant, passive, hard mentality. And I would like to live as a community. That is the main characteristic of an effective personality, which describes myself. And my curriculum is uh, being 10% uh, reflective in the uh, parietal, right? Parietal makes me highly obedient when it comes to the training my body and very hard working also. And because of the lower energy there, that makes me a little bit lazy. So that is where I'm working on. And uh, my curriculum is multidisciplinary. So I'll be able to learn many disciplines, academics plus extracurriculars. I'll be excelling in all those things. And I can, I'll be able to handle multiple tasks and uh, I'll be thinking more on my own. And then uh, being a, uh, uh, intuitive learner, I usually connect with my internal memory more than with the external senses. So my learning style would be more uh, intuitive, connecting with my memories. And then my in my sensory learning, my visual learning is high. In my uh, self-discovery 1.0, I have uh, discussed the way how I used to uh, draw in my books and keep that as a way of uh, learning. And that has helped me a lot in scoring very good marks in my uh, 10th and 12th standard examinations. And being a visual learner, I enjoy reading. I'm very good at spelling. And uh, just uh, uh, I want to present myself more neat. All those things will be there. And I'm very good. My study style will be like watching videos, flashcards, mind maps and all. And then uh, uh, coming to the Secondly, uh, my auditory is good. That, uh, that helps me in uh, listening well in the class. When I'm in a class listening, when the teacher is taking a class, uses the board and teaches, that is the best way I'm able to grasp things. So that is one of my strengths also. And my thinking is abstract random. I, uh, being an abstract random thinker, I'll be very good in groups. Uh, and my way of learning my friends, my way of learning will be through discussions, not just through reading. 
and then um, uh, then uh, I enjoy interacting with others also being an abstract or random thinker. Uh, and I usually need a very positive environment environment around me uh, that explains that I'm effective. So, and also having this uh, uh, picture smart being very high. It makes me a very good uh, resourceful uh, problem solver. It helps me a lot in my counseling sessions. I'm able to pictureize things. When people come to me with problems, when they discuss things, I would be able to pictureize well. I, I can be a very good visionary leader and my aesthetic sense will be very good. And I usually see things as big pictures and I have my own uh, uh, very high perceptions about it. And then my cosmic smart and people smart being equally good. Uh, I have that uh, bouncing back ability and um, I'll be very, uh, uh, my uh, good intrapersonal skills are very good. Uh, that helps me as a counselor again. I'm least affected and uh, I'm, I give good solutions uh, more than rather getting too much sympathized. And then being an uh, introspective learner in my adult learning domains, I'm an introspective learner. Uh, being an introspective learner, it has helped me in uh, connecting things inside my head more than out. I'm very good at deciding what and when and how things has to be done. I give more importance to moral values and uh, I'm good at uh, designing things and evaluating from it and contextualizing it. So these are my qualities as an introspective learner. And uh, analytical is my second highest and interactive is my second highest. So third highest. And coming to my personality type, uh, I, I'm a very emulative personality. I just need one idea to work on. With that idea, I will be able to give my fullest and uh, in a very beautiful form, I can be able to deliver things. And uh, Focus is, my focus is mainly on goal and performance uh, rather than the process. It is uh, just, I think, 50 point something percent. So it is quite well balanced. I try to complete my work and I as, or as well uh, uh, concentrate on the process of my work. And uh, in my work career, yes, people's interference does uh, play an important role rather than task. And then in my dominance, my left brain dominance is high. And as Sir told in my self-discovery 1.0, the left brain dominance and influencing personality and being perceptive has been one of my strengths. In my uh, disc personality, you can see I'm very influencing type. I uh, always need, uh, a, I, I would like to be in a uh, center of attraction. And, uh, uh, I also inspire effortlessly. Uh, I, I'll be a person with a uh, lot of broad-minded, very cheerful. I will connect quickly with others, be very friendly and uh, able to influence people well. And uh, secondly, being dominant and compliance being good, I'll be very self-motivated and highly curious about uh, things, very powerful in executing things. And uh, uh, coming to com compliance also, uh, I'll be very uh, accurate and focused more on details, how it should be done, more on the details part of it. I will plan things very carefully. I would try to avoid commotions. So all these are the characteristics of me. And on the RIASIC model, you can see my enterprising is high. Uh, being enterprise, uh, being a business woman myself, I uh, look at myself very energetic and ambitious. I usually have visions and missions. Uh, I do value reputations, power, money, status. And uh, I like to work with people. And being realistic, uh, I'm a more uh, genuine and uh, very practical. I have this uh, uh, problem solving ability also through these characteristics. And then um, I like to handle uh, then uh, Missions, uh, being realistic, using uh, tools and missions has been more convenient for me. And then being con uh, conventional, uh, being uh, investigative and conventional has also helped me in uh, raising lots of questions with my clients and my counseling. Conventional enough, I'll be a good organizer, I'll be a good organizer. 
and very careful in executing things. And then my strengths are, uh, you can see my development is higher than my management and uh, uh, lastly the skills. So I'm a person who like to uh, uh, develop and work on it. I just uh, want to more than working in a same place. I want to see some improvements and developments every time. And then in my MBTI, uh, uh, my uh, well, my personality trait is INTP, which is a logician. Like other uh, or uh, many influential uh, philosophers and scientists have been logicians. So I have seen my life a uh, little bit philosophical also. And this was my uh, self-discovery 1.0 ending slide. So I started the session saying, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. And I ended saying, uh, peace is not the highest goal. So the key factor to attain that peace is the balance between the mind, body, and soul, which I would like to discuss here. And uh, this self-discovery 2.0 is where I have developed on me. What I have discovered and what I have uh, know, uh, what I have learned about myself in the last uh, 30 to 32 years have helped me in developing myself. So this is the knowledge. Uh, it is not the knowledge you absorb. It is the knowledge you uh, apply. So these counseling sessions has helped me in applying this knowledge and has given me a little bit of more knowledge, I would say. We are frantically trying to earn enough money to buy things we are too busy to enjoy. Balance comes when you stop, look at your life and assess the things which you genuinely want for yourself and your family. So we, be very intentional in your choices and make the right choices. This is what I would like to say starting my 2.0. In this, uh, I would like to talk about harmony, uh, how we have to live in harmony uh, to keep our mind still. So this harmony and balance is brought within oneself when the mind, body, and the spirit is brought into equal balance. How to bring a mind into balance? I think GBP is the best tool and it is the truest reflection of your mind, who you truly are, right? So GBP has given us the total design of how we are, and the other uh, methods of balancing your mind is to improve your positive thoughts, keep your current goals and future goals well planned, and work on your strengths and weaknesses, be more passionate enough, and practice more of positive and good thinkings in your mind. So these are some of the points which we need to balance our mind. And uh, coming to the body, I think a uh, good lifestyle, a very daily physical exercises, yoga, adequate sleep and rest and nutrition is very healthy diet is also very important to maintain that body balance and coming to the spirit. When we talk spirit, it is about the soul. It is about spirituality, right? So it is the way you always get connected with God. That always have the feel that you are linked with a person very supreme above you, a person who has created us. So it is the power which is ruling each and every one of us daily. We should be uh, engaging ourselves in uh, spiritual activity or prayer every day in order to maintain the healthy relationships. So that is what I'm talking about harmony here, having a balance between mind, body, and soul. So this balance can be attained uh, in through external balance and internal balance. I think the uh, ex external balance is through the control of uh, five senses. These five causes depict our five senses. A smooth ride in our life is possible when we have all the five senses in control. So I think the eyes play a very important role. It always, the sight, the things which we see affects our mind, body, and soul. And uh, uh, what we see it, uh, definitely uh, affects uh, what we uh, are. One second, one second, Sindhu. Yes, just sir? go to the just go to the more button on the top uh, display of the menu, yes, and sir? just to hide that. Yeah, hide the controls. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So that outer balance is brought, and uh, talking about the eyes. Uh, we uh, keep thinking about our uh, what 
uh, coming to the current scenarios, how kids are. In those days, the movies which we watched used to be very spiritual movies. We enjoyed magic movies, right? But nowadays, it has been replaced by horror movies. And uh, in the name of science fiction, people are, little ones are into a world which is totally imaginary, right? They are not with us. They keep thinking of certain things which they see bad. So kindly restrict those kind of, uh, avoid seeing those kind of stuffs for their kids and for us ourselves. And then talking about the smell, the sense of smell, uh, I think the flowers and the natural fragrances plays a very important role in maintaining our uh, spirit very vibrant. I think it actually leads us uh, a step more uh, in person to the God or the universe or our inner self. So these natural fragrances are should be used regularly in our uh, or day-to-day -day lives. And you can see the hearing horse uh, rising are high, right? You know, the temporal uh, lobe for our Indians, mostly uh, South, South Indians, I think Indians, are uh, quite uh, strong with high energy. That shows how spiritual they are, right? And uh, we have a strong temporal that makes us more connected spiritually. We fear God, we fear the universe, you, uh, and we fear our inner self. So that is where uh, that energy is high. So it uh, actually gives us more uh, uh, work to be done in maintaining that energy properly. Be uh, very careful in taking advices. Be careful in taking um, whatever uh, feedbacks or whatever uh, discussions being done. Mostly, I think the Vedic readings, uh, read holy books or uh, those kind of readings is highly essential to bring in that balance. And then uh, coming to the, I'll come to the feelings or the touch sense last, but uh, coming to the tongue, you have to be very careful with your words, right? And make it very positive, motivating and good. It is a powerful tool. You have to use it very wisely. And uh, there are lots of positive and good words in the vocabulary. So try restricting the negative ones. And uh, that makes us uh, speak very sensibly. And coming to the feel and the touch sense is uh, the a presence of certain people in our life in self gives us lots of positivity, gives us a balance we need in our life. A hug from our father or mother, that is the power of touch which we all expect, which we all uh, wanted throughout our life, right? Those powerful touches should be felt, should be there with you always. Be, uh, uh, be very uh, uh, cautious about those touches. And uh, we have heard, right? God heals through touch. It has so much power. So all these senses should be maintained properly to have a peaceful ride for the outer balance of uh, to attain that harmony. I'm talking about this control of five senses. And then uh, coming to the inner balance. Coming to the inner balance. Uh, I think the inner balance is between the heart and the mind. Heart and mind are same, but the uh, what we feel inside, it's different. I think the heart is something which keeps desires for many things. It wants this, it wants that. It keeps desiring. It, it never gets satisfied. But mind is something beautifully created, right? It can be a balance. It is, um, it is a physical form of our senses, right? So it can be balanced. It can be molded. It is beautifully created in a way like that. So the best way is just mold your mind properly and make your heart follow it. So that yeah, will bring in the balance. Once our senses are controlled, once our mind is well organized, just make your heart listen to the mind. And if your heart and mind opts for the same... <laughs> for the same option, I think it is the time we celebrate, right? Your heart is opting for the right thing. So that is the time we celebrate. So for the inner... <laughs> and the mind balance. And this is my balance wheel. I have uh, brought in all the points which I have discussed earlier, spirituality and sense of purpose, relationships, family, friends, community, good nutrition and exercise, rest and sleep, work, financial and career, control of senses and setting goals. At every, at every part of your life, at every step of your life, just check on these 
uh, just check on these points, whether it is balanced, are we going in the right path? This has helped me in uh, setting my short-term and long-term goals and travel in that in a peaceful way. The outer uh, circumference, it defines what, you, what are your choices should be. Choose refinement instead of fashion and choose worth instead of respect and choose uh, mind instead of heart and elegant instead of luxury. So these are my choices, which I have shared with you. And uh, I think uh, we have uh, spoken enough, enough about the harmony and coming to the reports, I like to share my elder son's report here. He's 11 years old, uh, he's studying CBSE and uh, he's a very good uh, singer, Carnatic singer, very creative also. So this is his UID, D2X, D1, C1X, C1X, A1, A1, C3, C3, and A1, C3. As you can see, his uh, left temporal has the highest energy, 87. This makes his uh, verbal communication very strong. And uh, he can choose uh, financial careers like uh, financial consultant, CA, all that numbers is an area of, area of strength. And he can master many languages, good in grammar and articulation. So that is the strength of the temporal, left temporal. And coming to the second highest energy is the right occipital. It makes him very creative, very forecasted, good destination. He has good goals in life. His uh, aesthetic sense is good and spatial skills are good. And then coming to the right temporal, his uh, hearing and input has good energy. Uh, but uh, I find it difficult uh, in handling him is because uh, that energy do absorb little negativity also. And uh, because of that, and uh, he might uh, keep asking me more questions and you can see the output is also of higher energy than the input. So he asks lots of questions and um, in classrooms also, his teacher has told me that he used to ask lots of questions. So I uh, uh, told him to just write down all the points. Or if you have any doubts after the class is over, go ask one by one. And uh, because of that, right temporal, his nativity will also be very strong. He'll be very proud of his family. He feels proud of his country, all that is there. And he's good with bonding and emotions. His, uh, and uh, because of that, his temporal, uh, because of that uh, echoic memory is also very high. And the lower energy comes to his right parietal, which makes him a little bit uh, lazy and less sensory integration. His body memory is less and also dexterity also will be less, uh, bit less because of that. And then a left occipital is of a little bit less uh, lower energy, which shows uh, there are certain points where he uh, uh, just cross over mistakes. He uh, does not find out mistakes properly. If I ask him to check also, he, there are chances for him to miss on the mistakes. That shows his uh, less visual acuity. And he's not very good, but very uh, observer. We're not very fine detail observer. And um, all those things are little things which we, I'm handling him in uh, making him learn well and being uh, CBIC, I think uh, his left brain processing is more moderate and it has been a little bit tough for me. And he's an accelerated learner. Sorry, I didn't mention here. He's an accelerated learner. Uh, so it has been, uh, CBIC can be done, but with a little uh, uh, effort I have to put on myself because of that uh, small excess there and um, his uh, right prefrontal also is of less energy and he seems to be not very enthusiastic, not very spontaneous also. And then uh, coming to the prefrontal D2X and uh, D1, both are uh, integrative and there will be a delay in execution. And because of that small X, his work side will be affected by people's interference and feelings and uh, relationships. Though he executes well, uh, what bothers is what people might think, all that will be there. He's a very good singer. He presents so well in stage, but there is slight considerations of how did I perform? How did everyone enjoy? All that was there. So where I have uh, told him to focus more on your work. Uh, don't consider if you are doing your work, kindly give more attention to your work and do not be uh, diverted. 
uh, due to this D2, uh, X and D1, there needs lots of channelizations in him. And coming to his frontal C1X and C1X, there has been, uh, uh, he can be able to take, though he can be able to take uh, cognitive tasks, that X small X is still disturbing for him. Uh, it is tough for him to accept a no. Uh, C1X in the left frontal uh, makes him look very creative. He does lots of toys by himself. We have stopped buying him toys uh, for a long time, but he's a person who can create so many things. He uh, There are lots of toys in our home, which was uh, done by him. That makes him look very creative. But if at a time, if I just tell him, don't waste your time in this go study, don't waste these uh, materials, all that, nothing will be done. So that is how re he reacts. That is how that small X will be there. But uh, I do not uh, discourage. I'm just telling you an example. So he, ha he has been very creative. So these small Xs are the place where uh, make, that makes uh, my parenting a little bit more complicated, but I'm doing the homework. I'm um, just and telling him that uh, we are not uh, supreme, some uh, higher power is there. You should not think that I know everything and uh, there should be a respect to everyone. So all these areas I'm uh, uh, discussing with him. And he's also a sensory learner. He uses his uh, senses to uh, learn and uh, Mostly, he needs things outside him to learn. Uh, even a paper and pen is needed every time. If it is a study time, it is needed. And his memory, his working uh, memory is a little bit less. So there will be light, slight distractions. I keep repeating him to not uh, do the mistakes again and again. Revisions are needed. And uh, you can see his um, so long-term memory also a little bit low. And sensory is very high. That makes him uh, have a very strong perception of sight, hearing, smell, and taste, and touch. He's been very accurate in uh, predict, uh, in uh, perceiving all those things. A person he has seen earlier, he has that in mind for a long time. He never forgets the objects placed somewhere. And then uh, his whole brain processing, his left brain intuitive and left brain sensory, like uh, whole processing will be a little bit analytical side and logical side, not very uh, towards people, uh, not being very sympathetic. He needs some reasoning and an analysis done. And uh, thinking orientation, he's an abstract sequential thinker. He always needs a sequential flow of uh, information. Even for uh, doing certain toys, he needs that manual alone. If it is a toy which is brought or uh, came as a gift or something, he needs that manual to complete that toys. And his uh, multiple intelligence, you can see his word smart is very good. That makes him uh, a good, uh, good in his vocabulary. He can uh, uh, master many languages. And uh, that also makes him very smart in handling my, uh, money and uh, good in numbers too. And coming picture smart as a second uh, highest. That makes him a very good visionary leader. He visualizes things as big pictures and has a very, uh, uh, what to say, he's also a good taste in selections. Aesthetics will be good. And he selects his own dresses, how the color matching has to be done. He has all that done for him and then music and self smart is his third top it uh I, I can actually see him connecting deeply with music every time he exhibits some singing on the stage he's a very good problem solver also uh, being uh, music smart is high he can harmonize things well and uh, good solutions well he's a very good communicator a good uh, inspiring uh, he, he is posed as an inspiring leader also. When a team of friends join, he will be able to take up the lead and harmonize things well and get things done easily. And then coming to the uh, self-smart, self-smart is also good. Uh, he always uh, likes to be independent, self-aware and self-motivated. In this, you can see his compilance is very high, makes him a very careful person and uh, he doesn't uh, uh, seems to make mistake uh, mistakes in his plan in his uh, execution or planning and uh, he uh, does that very carefully uh, though these uh, traits will be seen after his adolescence 
I could see certain uh, straits also now. And uh, he carefully follows rules uh, and uh, very accurate in completion. And uh, this also makes him a little bit uh, lacking confidence because the dominance is too low. He do lack confidence in exhibiting things. And steadiness, secondly, steadiness is high, which makes him... Uh, very a safe and secure person, uh, very highly persistent and sincere. He holds strong to certain things and uh, sets the plans well. And uh, thirdly, the influence is high. He wants to be the, so, uh, 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 he wants to perform well. He wants to be the, the point of attraction. He influences well, all that is there. And the uh, dominance is less, that makes him a little bit submissive also. Uh, between the fights between two brothers, uh, he's the one he just, okay, go take it like that. He goes. And uh, in Riasik, his conventional is high. He, as I told, he organizes well, very practical and careful person. And uh, he values success. He sees some himself as an orderly person. He wants to keep things orderly. He sets his plan well, makes him conventional high. And then uh, he's also a social person. Uh, uh, very helping uh, people center because of the small access also there everywhere he is concerned with people and his interpersonal skills also will be good and then um, he like uh, talking about his uh, thirdly he's an entrepreneur that makes him a very good businessman in future uh, his uh, values are good and um, his MBTI being ISFJ makes him a defender personality. Like uh, he's a reliable person, very supportive, hardworking, and very humble person, uh, but overly humble. That is a problem also there being uh, ISFJ. ISFJ is he's an introvert type. His energy is from his uh, close circle. His sensing is uh, high and his decisions are through feelings and also judgmental he is. And uh, talking about my younger son, this is his UID. He's 100% emulative. And uh, you can see uh, Adian, his uh, lobe-wise energy distribution is highly on the left brain dominance. On his uh, lobe energies, his left frontal is very high, makes him very logical and he's a person who plans, keeps planning for any event, wherever we go out, he keeps planning well. And he's good in uh, sequencing things and uh, good with his semantic memories also. In coming to the right occipital, again, uh, very creative and good with color and picture sense. Coming to left prefrontal, he's very curious, very curious, very curious, wherever we go, what is going to happen? What is next? He keeps questioning me like that and uh, very analytical uh, person, he prioritizes things. And a lower energy is uh, where uh, we have a frontal, right frontal, where they are, one is there, 32 energy. Their uh, feelings, uh, less energy with feelings, connecting with relationships, uh, people are not much of his priority and he's not of a very imaginative type. Uh, not much into the living world. And his right prefrontal is of uh, lower energy also, which makes him, uh, again, not very spontaneous, not very uh, uh, with family, not very into the family, uh, not very empathetic, and uh, very much uh, converging, doesn't look at things as big picture. He keeps complaining about his brother more, all that uh, he wants me to be more perfect. All those things will be there in uh, family side. And then uh, right parietal, also of low energy, makes him a bit lazy and uh, sitting and playing of more of that type. You can see our uh, retardations in gross motors where I uh, usually guide him to go play outside, spend more time outside, all those things I'll do. And his curriculum is focused learning. Yes, he cannot handle many things. Uh, he's uh, Now he's proceeding with CBSE syllabus. He is into first standard. This was the year I joined him. 
he has uh, told there are lots of problems he faced. Like many teachers are coming, many classes are going on. It has been tough for me all that he has told. So I think state board is more apt for him because his uh, left brain processing is also moderate. So I'm just, uh, he's, uh, I'm having a tutor at home and uh, she's taking care and he's learning well uh, right now. But I also consider changing him to a state board. His sensory is very high. Similar to Shyam, his working memory and uh, long-term memories are low. Sensory is very high. And whole brain activity is uh, left brain intuitive and right brain sensory. Though he thinks and plans very well when it comes to executions, like he will do it for the people. He uh, is on the right side. He is a person who comes, hugs, do all those loving things. But what uh, Shyam cannot do, he is like left brain sensory. And then his thinking orientation is um, concrete sequential thinker. So he needs structured approaches. He needs step-by-step -step approaches. He needs schedules, course requirements. He needs continual validation. That is why a tutor is also there. He needs an example. He catches over to that example and follows it in a linear way. That is how concrete sequential thinking is. And in his uh, multiple intelligence, self-smart is high. People smart is lesser than the self smart. So that makes him a little bit self centric and more self aware. He needs independent, uh, he needs independence and all a little bit towards his self. He's a person like that. And then his logic smart, uh, he's good in maths and science, all those things, very calculative. He compares and categorizes things well. He's very good in solving and classifying things. Thirdly is, um, sorry, second, uh, nature smart uh, makes him uh, love nature and uh, data display, all those things will be good. He likes animals, plants, and also uh, his, uh, uh, what to say, his artificial intelligence is, uh, will be good if nature smart is good. And then coming to the disk profile, similar to Shams, you can see his uh, compliance is more high. Sham is also compliance high, but you can see the dominance is uh, second highest for Adyan, which makes him the person who like uh, dominates Sham every time. His MBTI and uh, his Riasic model is conventional, investigative, and realistic. And uh, his MBTI value is uh, uh, MBTI personality is ISTJ, which is uh, a person who once honesty is important, very strong, well, then very responsible person. Uh, this is Sham and Adyan's MGBI uh, comparison. You can see most of the values, most of the most of the values go similar for each of them, like um, introverts, sensing, converging. In the decision type, he's of feeling oriented decisions will be taken. Here, thinking decisions will be taken. Uh, Sham seems to be a little bit aggressive because of all those cognitives and integrators in him. He's very strong and fired, but Adyan is quite adaptive. And then coming to the family reports, this is my brother's report, uh, Gokul Gandhi. He's 29 years. He's an IT professional. And uh, I'll just uh, take up how the sessions went uh, rather getting deep into the uh, uh, reports. I'll just discuss how the sessions went and important values I will be discussing. He is highly or right left brain or left brain dominance is very high. And as you can see, uh, his uh, thoughts being uh, uh, emulative and uh, re execution being reflective, he has lots of plannings and discussions. But at the end of the day, he would ask, uh, what should I do? And he always needs a role model to execute things because of that, R has less energy and he's uh, totally imitative in execution. And uh, there will be no processing, no converging and diverging going on. He's, but as a person, he is very obedient and very kind, very gifted to me as a brother. He takes care of us so well and uh, he never uh, ever has uh, uh, left upon us. And uh, he is, um, he always needs someone to look after him. He never leaves my mother. He always has my mother with him and uh, uh, but uh, but if he puts in lots of effort uh, if he sees a role model he's he can imitate him and just reach his places and then um, 
uh, his left brain dominance is very high, as I told, it's 53. So lots of effort needs to be done in balancing it. And uh, those are his higher energies and uh, least energies. And he's very adaptive person. His logic is more, more high. You can see his indoor is 62%. His IQ is very strong because of that left brain dominance. His EQ is secondary and AQ is third. His uh, compliance is high, then steadiness, then dominance, then influencing. He is a person with a realistic uh, nature. He likes spending more time with his computer. Uh, he is more of um, tools, uh, uses tools and uh, repairs type. His conventional is good and social is good. Coming to Gayatri, I'll make this as how I uh, took on this session. You can see Gayatri is my sister-in-law. And you can see how... Uh, uh, more uh, what is a more potential is there because of the cognitive natures and uh, only thing is that c3x in her report which um, which uh, affects her planning when it comes to work and when she plans for her work if some people's interference even Gokul is interfering it will end up in clashes c3x has been bothering both of them they are like tom and jerry have little small small fights every time so after this session uh, they felt very happy they came to know about each other how uh Gokul is highly left brain and gayatri has good balance between left and right brain though she is slightly into left brain also uh, she has her cosmic very high. She can bounce back from problems easily. But uh, Gokul having logic very high, he every time uh, want reasons. He always keep analyzing things. So all that is their uh, reasons for fights also. And Gayatri is a little bit on the outdoor side. She likes going out. But Gokul being more of an indoor type, he is more into work, his office cabin, all that is there. So that also leads to some problems between them. This is his, their son Aryan's report. Uh, you can see uh, you can see he is also most similar to his father with left brain dominance being fifty two, and uh, his temporal is uh, very good. Both uh, input and outputs are very good. His right temporal hearing is very good, and uh, because of input is uh, less than the output, lots of manipulations are there. And uh, left occipital is also good. His visual acuity is good. And right parietal has uh, less energy that makes him uh, bodily movements a little bit lazy and sensory integrations are less. His right prefrontal is of less energy. Like uh, he uh, once uh, doesn't see things as big pictures, not very enthusiastic and spontaneous. As you can see uh, from Aryan's report, what we discussed is on his curriculum, you can see he's a multidisciplinary learner and uh, his primary potential is very low. So I have asked them to work on that, uh, make him uh, study well in his primary days so that his secondary potential is very high. There are chances for him to get state ranks also. So uh, the primary level, lots of uh, uh, attention, tutoring needs to be done. But adaptiveness is good, so hope, uh, hopefully he will do well. And um, uh, these are the values for him. For him, similar it is more similar to Gokul's report, being a little bit on the indoor side, being effective and reflective. His temporal has changed, and uh, being conventional, social, it is uh, INTJ, MBTI value, everything is similar as his father's. So after this uh, session, they were very happy. And this was Gayatri's feedback. Hi, this is Gayatri. I'm a software professional and mother of two kids. Uh, so recently I had a session with uh, Mrs. Sindhu uh, regarding this Medina. So I should, I would like to tell some feedback about the session which I had recently. So I feel uh, right now like much relieved after having this session. Uh, it helped me to know more about myself than how much others know me. Uh, in the beginning, I was a bit skeptical about Medina in the big, but uh, after having the session, I felt a bit overwhelming and uh, I could point out things that uh, will give me some 
outstanding success in my professional life as well as my personal life i had uh, like all the aspects so far i could travel uh, around my childhood and to, till current uh, situation it was like a overview like where and how i can uh, need uh, implement and what are the ups and downs everything i could uh, i could sense from the small session which i had with her so i always wondered uh, whether i can juggle between my motherhood and my profession in the right way i always wondered whether i can do it properly but now my perspective has changed completely i became more confident now since i i could know the strength of myself like which i been uh, going through the past few days uh, and be more confident about it and now i could just uh, be more practical on what needs to be done and what's need to be improved and this is how it is going to be and what is meant to be and all i am now more clear about my life and like and more of like being a couple in a relationship you always end up with a conflict discussion whenever you wanted to take make a decision so we together had this session now i could understand each other better like how he is as a person how i am as a person has different personalities but together uh, we know like what is like uh, their aspect of life and my aspect of life and what this is uh, aim and other things it's like strength and positives you get to know so now i can understand better uh, among each other like we felt it like uh, uh we could travel better without any conflicts now so it actually worked emotionally also we had a better can- connect after that and i would like to say this is uh, one of the one of the um, most uh outstanding sessions i have so far i never had such uh, sessions before uh on knowing myself for more we used to have like a general uh, motivational speech it was not like that it was completely knowing yourself and what's need to be done in your future everything was completely different and everyone should take up this session in future in order to have a clarity in your decision and move forward in your life and everything so that was uh, gayatri about the whole session and then uh... coming to this family's report actually uh, they uh, came to me for taking gbp for jay surya he is 10 years old kid they had a uh, they came saying that he is a hyperactive child he is not responding properly he is not doing his work properly lots of complaints on him i could i'll just brush up what was done in the uh, counseling session because of the c3x in the left prefrontal Uh, i think uh, his actions are uh, more uh, whatever his works are how he behaves in school his homeworks done everything is affected by what people say about him and uh, as a family uh, family comes it was only individual counseling it was started for jay surya first and i thought his strength and potential everything was good except for that c3x which uh, yes causes some damage and being c3 c3 in the temporal there are chances for him to absorb lots of negativity also and r1 in the right frontal has made him look uh, hyperactive he might imitate someone uh, he might look imaginative and uh, he's like uh, i just guided them that he has good potential except for that keep motivating him do not um, uh, demotivate him he needs lots of motivation because of that small x there there will be some hesitations in executing things and uh, after that uh, uh, so the, after the session they had a promising feeling that 
yes uh, we had a wrong opinion about our son so they were, i was also told i i was i told them to take the gbp for his mother because either uh, she has she might be effective and it will be hard for her to handle him so we uh, after this session they were ready to take for their mother the uh, below report manjula ma'am 45 years and as you can see she's uh, effective and reflective 20% cognitive being reflective in her uh, uh, frontal uh, he she usually i think uh, she usually uh, compares her child with uh, other children she likes to uh, praise her child like how his her friends used to praise and being a right brain dominant 55 person she always has a group of people around her she's more attracted to people she, she uh, and i could see that she kept on complaining on her son putting her down putting him down and there were places he had, she had bet him also so after the session they opened up well and there were lots of places where manjula ma'am cried a lot i cannot con continue the session because i was breaking in through them i was revealing what was happening and they were very happy with that uh, and it was just overwhelming uh, session for me also and uh, uh, you can see uh, her hearing is very high and uh, her temporal energy is very high that also makes her uh, to attract negative negative and negative uh, speaking also as you can see jay prakash sir who's 49 years his temporal uh, left is of higher energy so he is very hard uh, very uh, to the point he speaks very uh, clearly and to the point sometimes it may look uh, hurting also for her and uh, so there then came the husband and wife relations they opened up in that uh, then we took uh, jay prakash sir after ma'am opened up only we took jay prakash sir and uh, they understood that because of that c2 only she's getting hurted and because of the higher energy in the left temporal he is little bit uh, money mind light my uh, light uh, slightly money minded and very cautious in saving for the family not spending much for the family so all these uh, areas were broke and they had a good understanding and Jai Prakash sir was very happy and overwhelmed uh, with uh, the counseling session and he was surprised that I found out his body balance there will be an imbalance in his body because of that D2X in the right parietal and uh, as I told only motivation is needed uh, for him lots of positive energy is there he's studying to standard and all these five years he has been put down by his own class teacher. He was made to sit in the ground. He was labeled as not studying properly. So all these things has made him more uh, uh, weak. So I have advised them to change the school, being multidisciplinary, uh, multidisciplinary learner with moderate brain processing. He is fit for a stay at both schools. So I just uh, gave that idea also. And they were also very happy with the session. I'll just share their feedback also. Good morning. Happy day to all. I am Mrs. Manjula from Ilamilai, Salem District. We had a brain profiling on September 11. We did brain profiling for of our, of our family members with Mrs. Sindhu Dinesh at Dagham Clinic. My review about this is each and every parent should do brain profiling for their children to know about their kids' future. It was very helpful to me to understand about my son and ma'am gave me a lot of suggestions to handle him on his education and character basis. Now we are having a peaceful environment in our home. My partner has now understood me and now stands behind me in all my situations. A great thanks to Mrs. Sindhu Dinesh for giving such detailed and valuable explanation about our reports. In spite of her busy schedule, she managed our timings and gave appointment for us. Thank you, ma'am. On the other hand, I thank Medina Groups too for giving the reports on the way very quickly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. That's, uh, and this is Dr. Raji Saranyal ma'am's report. Uh, here, she is a homeopathic doctor being X2 and X1 in her uh, frontal has made uh, there is no break in her thinking and uh, there will be no processing she just gets into actions quickly and being a homeopathic doctor doctor she needs to 
process many things in her mind before deciding on the medicines. So that is where we had a discussion and she was also totally satisfied with the session. And uh, having a C1X in the left frontal, uh, there, uh, might, there are chances that she would not look at task as star, task and takes it a little bit personally, where she fe might feel where she's getting cornered, all those things are there. And uh, we have discussed an X2 in the left frontal that made, makes her very emotional. If any work is given to it, her, she takes it emotionally. And X1 in the right frontal, uh, her way of handling relationships should be uh, improved and uh, for a better understanding, uh, there should be lots of hospitality between relationships. Uh, more, uh, she should be more, uh, what to say, more uh, spiritually good, more balanced, all those things were discussed. So, this was the Raji Ma'am's report. I'll read this at the last. And uh, after she was very convinced, she took the report for his uh, son. Uh, for her son, uh, that was Surya. Surya's report. Surya is hundred percent effective. R two is uh, less energy, so that makes him. Uh, uh, she he has to master one thing at a time, uh, and he is uh, 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 imaginations and the relationships have less energy. And uh, CBSE was, will be a little bit tough for him because of his uh, focused learning and uh, left brain processing being normal. So I have I have told them to change on school state board. He will be doing his best. So that is his platform. So all those discussions were there. And then coming to Krisha, Krisha, you can see that X factors being carried over from her mother. So for Krisha, sorry, for Krisha, what I have insisted is uh, she has to be uh, uh, trained well spiritually. There will be extreme of emotion. She can be unpredictable at time. For her, parenting is very important. So take her into good values and budgets. Teach her lots of respects. So planning, uh, planning part. Uh, parents have to do the homework. Help her out in planning. So all these were discussed. Everything else was effective in hers. And uh, coming to uh, Sri Vishnu Varadhan, and she is ten years old. You can see a very good potential for him. And uh, in Vishnu's report, uh, the only thing is C3X in the for left frontal that makes him strong, but his planning is quite affected by his emotions and his occipital uh, is of less energy, 62. So that makes him, uh, I, I told him he has to fix goals and work. Other than that, he has a very balanced report, left brain, right brain balance, the balance between uh, his uh, memories and his uh, balance between the adult learning domains, everything was very balanced. So just told him, just go along with his choices. Uh, he, he, there are chances he could make the best decisions in life. And then uh, coming to Vishwa Kumaran, I'll be ending after this report. Uh, so Vishwa Kumaran was his uh, brother. So Vishwa, same, there is a C3X for him also in his uh, uh, left uh, frontal. Actually, they were uh, suspicious that this kid might be a little bit... Uh, uh, what was it, uh, autistic. So they have took the scans and all. And after that, it was because of uh, giving lots of mobile and screen time for him. And you can see the D3X in the prefrontal that has, uh, there ha that has, um, uh, that is matured oscillations and there will be fear of execution, fear of connecting with people, all that will be there. So giving him a lot of uh, screen time has only retarded his uh, growth, but uh, nothing to worry accordingly. And the scan reports were also same way. And uh, so only thing he's a challenge, uh, he's an uh, accelerated learner and uh, highly on the right brain side so where he has to get connected more with people uh, that has been absorbed by the mobile and that has given those kind of uh, uh, suggestions like he might be autistic and all but now they have uh, completely restricted the screen time so this was her feedback hi i am aishwarya from coimbatore i have recently got my genetic brain profiling done for both my kids my elder son is doing his fifth grade and my younger one is just 2.5 years old. So when I did my session with Sindhu, most of the points she shared was very much related to the kids' activities. I could see them doing the same things in their day-to-day -day life 
and i got a very clear picture about what their interests would be and what are the ways i could make them to achieve the uh, achieve their area of interest first i thought how will they predict just with the fingerprints and all mm-hmm. but now with this tpp in hand i totally get the picture about them and one interesting point sindhu discussed is about their environment preferences she said elder one prefers to be in indoors and uh, the younger one to be in outdoors and that is 100 100% true in real to my surprise even their area area of interest are also the same as she mentioned now with this report in hand i got some courage that i could manage my kids without any fuss and thank you sindhu for this wonderful experience um, we were very curious right from the beginning that is from the fingerprint scanning to the report discussion we were very curious and most of the points she discussed were very well related and uh, she also shared some steps and solutions to hurdles that are uh, that they are going to face in their growing stage and i recommend every parent to go for it and get the report so that it will be very useful for their kids career choices and we could also just relax when we know what will work for them best well in advance so thank you once again sindhu thank you very much so warm greetings this is so i think uh, i am coming to the winding up of the session so my gratitude is mata uh, to mata pita guru and daivam so what is the right meaning is we people say that mata is first pita is second guru is third and daivam is last uh, daivam comes at the end not like that actually what it conveys is through mother only you can and you can uh, under, you can know who's your father mother is the origin and the only person to show who your father is and the father is the only person who guides you to the right guru without father that will be a tough part and that uh, that is where we are lagging in our spirituality and then uh, the father is the right person who leads us to the right guru and guru is the only person who helps us to reach our inner self or to reach the god within us you we need we, we cannot do it ourselves we always need a guru to take us to that inner self a mentor is highly essential in every one of our lives so looking inside us and discovering our true self the supreme power within us is the purpose of life and for me god is my destiny and i would like to end saying enlightenment is a uh, when a wave realizes it is the ocean so all of us need all of us are small drops in the ocean all of us are little waves in the ocean we should realize all our contribution is highly important for the global peace a peace of mind of a single person is highly important for a world with no war and peace uh, i like to end my session uh, thank you thank you all for joining in yeah thank you sindhu very Sir. nice and uh, well explained session now i would like to request uh, the um, audience to unmute and give your feedback uh, probably you raise your hand i can unmute you uh, so that we go in a sequence yes bona ma'am please good afternoon sir good afternoon everybody uh, congratulations sindhu uh, your understanding of gbp is very good and from your customers uh, feedbacks we can see that you've been a wonderful counselor if uh, peop- you can make a difference in people's life in just 2 hours and make them realize their true nature that is a wonderful achievement and uh, your feedback proves it and uh, congratulations once again i think you are a born counselor so i wish you all the best and a wonderful journey with midna welcome to midna thank you ma'am thank you all yeah kritika please go good evening everyone um sindoshi that was a lovely session and uh, as i can see from the chat messages and uh, what bona ma'am said your feedbacks yes they speak for themselves and there are some absolutely lovely feedbacks and you've shown your understanding is really well and uh, it's good to see your growth from your previous st to now and uh, really happy to know that you know there's another fellow family member who is um also excelling at her work so wish you all the very best wish you all success in everything that you do thank you thank you pratikoma yeah yeah jay sri please go 
Yeah, lovely. Uh, once again, this is the second uh, presentation I'm watching after my sessions. So, Sindhu, um, I must say I truly felt educated. Um, what I genuinely appreciated about this presentation was the strength in your counseling. Um, I think there was a lot of clarity in uh, the suggestions that you were uh, trying to give based on the analysis. Um, and, and it definitely came across in the feedback too. Uh, when uh, uh, I think almost everybody said that uh, uh, they enjoyed going through their uh, journey. And uh, I think that's extremely gratifying to hear. Um, what I also enjoyed is the variety that you showed us, uh, though they came from the same family, the subtle differences, and yet uh, the absolute variety. I think I'm going to keep pouring over the screenshots that I've taken to understand this better and better. Thank you so much, Sandhu. Thank you, Jayashri, ma'am. That means a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jayashri. Yeah. Yes, Gopalan, you can go. Okay, Sindhu. Okay, happy evening. Uh, evening it was fantastic. May have a Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. I always admire the way you select pictures. Uh, yes. yes, I know you do wonder. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you, somehow you, you find a way the apt picture for this um, session, the yes. content selection. I, I really loved it. In fact, yes. uh, I always admire the way the, the place where you are and the amount of work what you do is really an extraordinary one. Keep growing. I know you are you are fantastic, uh, the passionate person. Um, yeah. It shows your conviction that okay, all the clients' feedback for me is telling that you, you are too good on counseling. Keep yes. keep exploring yourself. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I could not uh, explain all the reports very well, uh, time constrained, but I think I, that uh, I did justice. I understand. Yes, sir. Yeah, anyone else? Okay, so I think it's time to conclude because we are past four o'clock. And uh, before I give my concluding comments, uh, reminder for all the audience, please do join tomorrow three o'clock. Uh, another very wonderful, uh, lovely session is waiting to come. So please uh, do join tomorrow. And uh, and coming to the conclusion of uh, today's session, Sindhu, I think you did a very extensive uh, explanation of the report. If you go beyond this, I think it will become a, a counseling session. I think you did uh, aptly whatever is required. And I think uh, there's more than enough for a self-discovery 2.0 because there were so many reports, so obviously you can't explain the whole. And a uh, lot of things uh, the audience also will understand, so sometimes it, it is not needed. Displaying the report is 50% uh, of the conversations and information will be absorbed by, unless otherwise somebody is a guest here, and for them it will be too, uh, too, deep, too deep for them to understand. So I think uh, you did a fair way of uh, balancing both the content and the delivery, both of them. So uh, I do appreciate that, uh, you know, uh, the level that is quite good enough. For me, the way you 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 presented the other contents, uh, that was quite interesting and uh, quite appreciative there. And uh, as uh, Bupalan said, your visuals are always uh, very, very uh, inspiring. I also uh, stole some of your uh, pictures. I want to use them in the social media as well. So that's something uh, very, very, uh, you know, appreciable there. And coming to the, some of the points that you said, I will just add two, three minutes of uh, conversation there. I think you have got enough homework at home with GBP. I just wonder, without this GBP, you would have been a very stressed, frustrating mother. And now that you know where does all the challenges are coming uh, through your children, I think you will be better prepared to handle them very well. I think this itself is an example that without genetic brain profiling, I, I, I empathize the mothers out there struggling blindly, uh, actually cursing their uh, cursing their motherhood 
we know children are gift uh, to the humanity but without gbp i think it is a pain and suffering most of the time barring few exceptions which we cannot count at this point of time so uh, for us also uh, this report has helped uh, in handling our children better so at the end of the day if this report and this uh, understanding of genetic brain profiling report helps you to be a very uh, considerate uh, uh, excellent nurturing with a lot of uh, you know uh, acceptance if you start nurturing your children i think uh, that itself is more than what what you can look forward in this whole process okay then once you realize that how it is useful to you i think that same thought and the feelings if you are able to communicate with people i think a lot of uh, impact in the counseling also will come so i want you to learn more and more about this small access i think your elder son has given you a lifetime homework okay yeah. the younger one is much easier to handle because uh, he is uh, he's though he is a left brainer i think uh, he won't uh, disturb much maybe over a period of time he would mature into a person who will take care of himself very comfortably except some socializing skills need to be pushed on and he being a boy child i don't think it will ruin his uh, you know the future challenges and all but your elder son with small x3 small x with d1 and d2 and c3 on the temporal lobe and all is definitely going to give you a lot of homework to learn he is still young he is still using his sensory lobes when he goes higher and higher you will see the day is not ending and more and more challenges are there for you to learn i don't think any female in this planet can handle a child with a tooth small excess and a strong temporal lobe uh, it is not easy for anyone to understand because they don't understand themselves so obviously others cannot understand if at all in this planet if somebody can understand it is the self understanding is the best thing that can happen but uh, there also he has more complexities uh, uh, there but i i think with the understanding of this report uh, it will definitely be a better uh, life for him also because now he knows where to work on and where uh, where to justify his actions and all so i think with your uh, very very strong uh, uh, counseling skills i think you will be able to handle your children much much better than so if you have just done a gbp you would have not done this much help to you just because you are breathing all the time about genetic brain profiling and with your left brain children and the converging elder son and your husband and yourself i think it is for sure in your home genetic brain profiling discussion will be a past time uh, very often it will be discussed and definitely that's very encouraging because that is how both of us or all of us learn ourselves uh, much better and it helps us to understand others the more you understand about yourself the more you understand you are likely to empathize the others challenges as well so i think uh, you have got a good homework your brother and sister in law also have got a good homework to work on themselves so i think uh, nature has given your family genetic brain profiling and enough uh, homework it is given i wish all the very best and we are always there and uh, i think uh, you can rely on this family in various ways i always uh, suggest that you spend little more time in the learning sessions wherever it is happening and because it is it is just a tip of the iceberg if you if you can participate in the morning sessions at 5:45 uh, by just prioritizing your daily routines and all i think you will go places and it will definitely help you much better to accept and see what best you can do at the end of the day initially we will think we can change everything but over a period of time we will realize that uh, it is not that easy fortunately your children are still very young and i think you will be able to do lot of homework uh, very successfully so i wish you all the very best you have done good number of scans and the message i take from your presentation is there are so many families having their children with a little more complexities in their thought process and more and more futuristic kids are going to have more and more challenges so i personally think 
the coming generation is going to give us lot of opportunities to help them because they will be having more complex in their genetic uh, you know composition or their architecture of their brain so more work is waiting and uh, you and the primary goal and the primary task for you is to work on your children and ensure that they groom and bloom into a very uh, you know i would say peaceful individuals at the end of the day the joyful life is what we should seek for not the successful life if joy comes in our life success will automatically happen or it will become immaterial whether you have that success wealth and all those things but ultimately what is that we have to uh, uh, say is like somebody said in the yesterday session living in peace is more important to rest in peace so we should tell children how to live in peace so that the resting in peace becomes automatically happening so with this uh, words i would like to congratulate you on completing this self discovery 2.0 and uh, like uh, uh, you know the uh, first uh, bhuvana said uh, welcome to the family you are a great counselor and i think uh, uh, you will be very useful and having higher utility value uh, to people around you uh, and all the very best uh, for you uh, for your future endeavors take care bye bye thank you sir